Good morning, students. Today we are going to see the same topic, data and link, and from that, chance and probability, right? So we have already learned about this chance and probability in the last year. So this chance and probability already we have learned about these two terms in the last year, right? In the seventh class, this chance and probability we have learned. Okay. So do you remember this? What is meant by chance and what is meant by probability? That two the terms are related to each other. Okay. So here in this chance and probability, first we will revise the some examples which are related to the chance and probability because these two words are very close to our real life. Okay. So here, see when many times we we have maybe uh, many times we discuss with our friends and we are using. I will take this chance, right? This word we are using and. Another word is most probably, most probably like this word we are using with our discussion, right? So here, now we will see the examples which are related to these words. So for example, in the rainy season, during the rainy season, what happened? Means at the end of the rainy season, uh, every day uh, you are carrying a raincoat. It does not uh, rain for the many days. And so what happened one day? You not carry a raincoat with you. And on the same day, rains heavily on the same day, right? So these examples are so. Sometimes the teacher say that the three lessons are there for a next day test. Okay, so she told our uh, teachers told to prepare these three lessons tomorrow. We will take the test on this, right? So students, what they have done? One students recite or prepare the two lessons very properly, very neatly, and one lesson. That he will, means he has not done properly, and on the next day, on the day of the test, the teacher gave the most of the more examples, more examples on the same topic. Okay, so this is one of the example which is related to this. So many types of examples are there which are related to the chance and probability. Uh, one example is there which is related to our daily life. Means mostly we are observing this. See, one day the teacher told today is Monday, correct? Today is Monday and tomorrow is Wednesday. So what happens? A students get up, right? It is impossible. Today is Monday means tomorrow is Tuesday, right? Now, so these types of means impossible, then uh, possible, then um, uh, unlikely, likely, most probably, sure. Like these words are related to this uh, chance and probability. Now we will see which are the terms which are related to the chance and probability. We see first it is experiment. So experiment means what? And experiment, everyone know that what is the experiment? In one of the experiments. Many experiments we are doing every day, right? Now see the experiment means an experiment is a situation involving chance, right? We are doing the experiment means we are taking a chance, of course, right? So, or the probability that leads to an outcome, right? Something we have to find out. So, we are doing a experiment means we are taking a chance. If I will do this, then what will be the outcomes? Okay. So, here one more example is there a throwing a dart or a throw, drawing an S card from the deck of a card, right? So when you this throwing a die or throw it, drawing an X card from the deck of a 52 cards. So everyone knows this 52 cards, right? This is what outcomes. So what is meant by outcomes? When you will do the some experiments, so whatever the result you will get, that is the outcome, right? So here the outcomes means an outcome is a result of a single trial of an experiment so when you will do any experiments in a single trial whatever you will get that is the result and that result is the outcomes of that experiment okay for example when a coin is tossed when a coin is tossed means you are doing an experiment right when coin is tossed either you will get head or either you will get tail right so when coin is tossed getting a head is an outcome okay if you want the head so if you will get the hair, that is the hair is the outcome. Okay. Next term is what event. So event means what? An event is 
one or more outcomes of an experiment right so whatever we are doing the experiment in that if you will get one or two outcomes or one or more outcomes that one or two more outcomes means that are the event of that trial okay, or uh, events of that experiment and that's what for example getting a three getting for example getting a three when die is toss is an event when you will toss a die then getting a three that is your event of that an experiment understood next random experiment so an experiment in which an experiment in which outcomes may differ each time when experiment is performed so when you are we are performing any experiments so you will get when outcomes may differ each time okay so when experiment you are performed right so for example when you will throw a die so you will get the results may you will get one or two or three etc and such a type of experiments that is called the random experiment now we will see the next terms which are related to the chance and probability okay next even chance right so what is mean by even chance so if when you suppose we toss a coin or toy a coin is toss then chance of getting here head or tail is equal means one time you will get head and one time you will get tail right so when we toss a coin and such a uh, experiment or such a event is called which of uh, such event is said to be what even chance okay so when suppose we will toss a coin so you will get chance of getting a head or getting a tail is equal so once you will get head or once you will get tail so such a example it is a even chance okay next is a sure chance so what is meant by sure chance sure chance if anyone say today is sunday and tomorrow is tuesday is it possible it is impossible correct na so if today is sunday then tomorrow is monday so such a examples is of the sure chance right so if today is sunday then tomorrow be a monday right it is the sure event means sure chance next impossible means no chance right if you toss the coin right so at a times you will get head and tail no you will get either head or either tail right so if the coin is toss it is impossible to get both head and tail right it is impossible to get both head and tail okay so both head and tail so if the coin is toss it is impossible to get both head and tail are called impossible event understood now next is what good chance so what is meant by good chance e an event is more likely to happen more likely to happen means what to see if an event is more likely to happen we say that it is a good chance how it is good chance suppose if a bag contains five red balls and two black balls then a drawing a red ball is a good chance okay suppose we have to draw a red ball so from the bag contains five red balls and two black balls so here if we have to take the chance of to remove or to draw a red ball so drawing a red ball is a good chance understood and what is mean by poor chance in this example means if in the bag contains five red balls and two black balls so drawing a black ball has a poor chance understood now we will see the examples which are related to the chance and probability and how to find the probability that is the formula okay what is the formula for the chance and probability means actually we have to find the probability in the given example right of a particular atom or particular thing so formula for to find out the probability of that atoms or of that number or different whatever right so it is probability equals to number of events right means how many times it occurs into the given so divided by total number of outcome so how many total number of outcomes and from that 
how many events we you got right suppose for example if we are tossing the coin right and we have to find the probability of head okay so if we are tossing the coins so how many outcomes will be there of course two outcomes you will get means either you will get head or either you will get tail right but what is the uh, means how many times that head will occur only one times or how many head tail will occur but only one time so what is the probability of the head when the coin is tossed so probability of the head if you have to find probability of head correct so you will get how many total outcomes for that two total outcomes means either head or head and tail so head you will get one times or tail also you will get one times so probability probability of head is one by two or the probability of tail is also one by two so this is the formula for to find the probability okay okay now we see the examples on chance and probability first a die is thrown list the outcomes of an even event getting first prime number okay afterwards we have to find we are we have to list the outcomes not a prime number then a number greater than 5 and a number greater not a greater than 5 okay so first we will see prime number so first we have to list all the outcomes right so if die is thrown right now so if die is thrown then which are the possible outcomes all outcomes see here one you will get two three four five and six these are the possible outcomes right means you will get one or two three four or five or six means actually how many total outcomes are there six outcomes okay so from that we have to find out how many prime numbers right so the outcomes of a this even getting events getting prime number okay we have to find or we have to make the list of outcomes which type of outcomes the events getting prime number okay so here we have to find or you have to write the list of prime numbers right event getting prime number so we have to make the list of such a numbers okay so equals to what which are the prime number is one is prime number no of course not one is neither prime nor composite is the two is prime number yes everyone know that what is the prime number and what is the composite number the prime number means the number which has factors only that number and and is only one and number itself means two having the factors are two and one is the three the prime number yes of course three is also prime number four which are the factors for the four four ones are four and four and one are factors again in which table four will comes four is comes two table so two to the four so it is not possible more than two are the factors are there so if the more than two factors are there for any number then that are the composite number correct so four is composite number is five yes five is also compo prime number and six six are the factors six one two three right all are the factors of this six so six is not a prime number understood so this is the list of our numbers of event getting a prime number okay next not a prime number not a prime number means what others other than all these prime number so which one this now one will come not a prime number means it is not a prime number so will come one then another one is four and then six okay next a number next a number greater than five so which one number is greater than five the number six is greater than five means only one of the number that is the six which is greater than five so here it is six only understood and here a number not greater than five is not greater than five is all of this number not greater 
than 5. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So, we write here 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the numbers which are not greater than 5. Okay. Now, we will see next example. So, the next example following are the number 6. Means, these are the individual number 6 and in all each 6 the numbers are written from 1 to 10. Okay. So, how many strips are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, of course, 10 strips are there, right? And that strips are mixed together. And then we have to find what is the probability of, what is the probability of getting a number 6, right? If we mix this all the strips together, and if we have to remove the number 6, or from this, we have to take the number 6. So, how many times 6 number will come? Of course, one time, right? So, events, number of events for to getting a 6 is 1 only. And total number of outcomes are how many are? 10, right? Because we are selecting the 6 from all these 10 numbers, right? Or we are taking out or we are removing the 6 from this all these trips, right? So, event for 1 only for the 6. And total number of events means total outcomes are how many are there? 10 outcomes, right? So, here we will find the getting a number 6 probability. We have to write the probability of getting a number 6 is equal to what? Number of events or the event occur divided by total number of outcomes. Okay. So, here we will get how many number of events are how many here? Only 1. And total events or total outcomes are in only how many are there? 10. So, you will get the probability 1 by 10. Right? Now, similarly getting a number less than 6. Getting a number less than 6. So, we have to find the probability of getting a number A number less than 6. Okay, so how many numbers are there that are greater than less than 6? How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are the events that we occur in this all terms, right? Or in this all the numbers. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Right? And what are the possible outcomes are here? These are the tens. So, you will get 5 by 10. So, 5 by 10 means we can read this. 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 10. So, finally, the probability of getting a number less than 6 is equal to 1 by 2. Understood? Very easy this is. Then getting a number greater than 6. Greater than 6 numbers are how many are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? So, here we will find the probability. We have to write this probability of getting a number greater than 6. So, probability is equal to what? How many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, events that occur in how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Upon total number of events or total number of outcomes are there? How many are there? 10. Okay. So, we can reduce this. 2 2s are 4 and 2 5s are 10. So, probability of getting a number greater than 6 is 2 by 5. Okay. Next thing here, getting a 1 digit number. So, see here from this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many 1 digit numbers are there? 9. Okay. So, getting probability of this is equal to what getting a one digit number is equal to how many are there? 9 and upon total number of outcomes are here 10. So, this is the probability of this. We have to write in bracket always getting a one digit number. This probability of getting a one digit number. Here also the same getting a number greater than 6. Okay.